Hey girl, hey, welcome back to the Your Pretty Pennies YouTube channel. I'm Tara Jones Williamson and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. And if you are new here, let me know in the comments you are new so I can greet you accordingly. Today we're going to be talking about my three tier saving strategy and how I view savings and uh, what I'm doing this year and how I'm breaking it down and hopes that you can learn something from it. Also, I am a financial success coach and lifestyle designer. And if you need help with any of your financial and lifestyle goals and crushing them so you are not dragging them in from one year after the other to the other to the other and really start you really want to start making some progress in your finances please click the link in the description box as well as linked in the cards and you can get um linked to my coaching website so where we can set up a time to talk about it all right so i view uh savings and my saving strategy in like a tiered system it's like three tiers the first tier is short-term savings the second tier is medium to moderately long savings and then the third tier is long-term savings all right and so for short-term savings, it's typically called an emergency fund. For some of us, we know that I call it like my abundance account instead of emergency fund, but I like to use emergency fund so people in the, in the general audience know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's like a money that I have set aside, at least $2,000. I never let that account go below $2,000 for any financial emergency like that has to do with me or my children or my household, but also any financial opportunity. And that's why I call my emergency fund that most people call it my abundance account is because not only can it absorb any like major little short term issue, but also, sorry, not major, minor short term issue, but also it allows me to take uh, advantage of any financial opportunity or any lifestyle opportunity that comes up that I didn't budget for, right? So if there's a great conference coming up or if I want to invest in a product or service for my business or, or for my household or if I have to replace furniture really quickly or, you know, if my kids... Um, you know, heaven forbid, have an accident and I need to pay for the medical bill really quickly, right? I can do that. I have money set aside to do that to where I keep my financial plan, I keep my monthly budget intact and I have money set aside over here to absorb any other minor things going on, all right? The second tier is the moderate tier, right? And that's for planned expenses that will come up within the next one or two years, right? So that is something like my travel fund. So I have money set aside for my family where I put money aside each month into a travel fund to where um, if we once we decide on where we're going for spring break or summer break or staycation or if my in-laws come up with an exciting thing to do, we have money set aside to where we can go hang out and do all those things. And again, it protects my monthly budget. It pr protects my current financial plan and what I'm working on, the financial lifestyle goals I'm working on and still allows me to do things and live life life as I see fit, right? This is also sinking funds that I have, like my car repair fund and also business expense fund that I have money set aside to absorb any business expenses, right? And then also high yield savings accounts. I put my moderate like travel fund, my car repair fund, my business expense fund, all those things are in high yield savings accounts to where I can make a little bit more money on top of my money while saving for these things that's going to come up in the next year or two. Again, I want to keep these things liquid because I don't know when I'll need to use them. I don't want to put them in the stock market. I don't want to put them in a CD. I don't want to put them in an IRA or anything like that because I want to be able to use them without penalty. I want to be have quick access to them without any penalties. And so tier one and tier two are definitely very, very liquid. All right. Now, tier three is my investment accounts. Now, I have 529 plans for my children, brokerage accounts, SEP IRAs, 401ks. And so, you know, for my husband and I, between both of us, we he has a 401k, I have a SEP IRA, and we have brokerage accounts and also um, IRAs in a 529 plan for our children. And so those are definitely not liquid. Definitely, if I try to pull some money out, it could be penalties, it could be taxes I have to pay. It could be all types of things. We do have some CDs as well that are coming to maturity that I might roll over because a lot of our banks and credit unions are offering 
5% on the CDs right now, which is awesome to take advantage of. I got to make a note to myself about that. Um, so yeah, the tier three is very, very uh, like intentional, very uh, investment heavy, and um, it is for long term. We are not planning on using that money. We are not planning on touching that money for years and years to come, right? That is something that we won't touch for 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, right? A lot of those are long term investments. And so that is how I look at investment. My investment strategy is what am I going to need in the next year or less? That's tier one. How much am I going to need within the next year or two to uh, do some vacationing? Do do some car repairs, do some household repairs, things like that. That's tier two. And what is long term for my kids' college funds, for our retirement accounts, for uh, vac long term um, generational wealth building accounts, things like that. That is tier three. So if that makes sense to you, please let me know in the comments. What are you going to implement in your finances? And again, if you are new here, let me know in the comment section so I can greet you accordingly. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.